Well, thank you for watching this video. This video is brought to you by newkeyviewer.com. This video is for QuickBooks Online, Keyview, and I'm going to talk about inventory stock adjustment. All right, so how to make batch inventory stock quantity adjustment. You took physical and uh, you have some variances. You want to make uh, a quantity adjustment on your inventory stock, and you have uh, the list is pretty strong, it's long, and you don't want to make uh, uh, adjustment one at a time. So that's the focus of this video. So I'm going to go to QuickBooks Online now. All right, so this is the QuickBooks Online. And uh, normally, you know, uh, people just go to plus sign, and then you have this quantity inventory adjustment. So this one is kind of blank form, and it won't prefill. Uh, your existing quantity at hand, so you don't do anything. Uh, what you really want is uh, prefill uh, stock on hand, uh, and uh, basically then you just have to change the new quantity. Okay, so this 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 is not going to work if you if you're doing physical inventory. You have a, the list is pretty long, so what you need to do is uh, you need to go to products and services. Yes, products and services list. All right, let's go to product and services. So you can go from here too now from sales, sales, and you know normally you, you default is all sales, then it's just the product and services. Uh, that's new way. The old way is basically from the gear sign, just select product and services under the list. So it will take the same place. All right, got it. So uh, anyway, so right now if you just look at this product and services page, you don't see anywhere to do inventory quantity adjustment right it doesn't look that way all right so so what I'm going to do is uh, this list is uh, uh, combined inventory as non-inventory and services so first thing I want to do is filter the report by inventory only right so I just want to do active and type as inventory and you want to select apply so once you do that the list is just for inventory now we still don't see a, a batch action, right? Just hold on. All right, so all we have to do is see this uh, batch uh, uh, checkbox in here. Just select that, select that one. Right away, you will see batch actions at the right side, as you can see here, batch action, right? Okay, so select this batch action, drop down. Now you will see adjust quantity, adjust quantity right here, okay? So now you have the list, everything right here. See the list, quantity in hand, you put a new quantity now, okay? Like this, list, it's complete list of inventory items. It's already pre-filled, pre -filled quantity, and you, then you just need to uh, change the new quantity. And uh, it, the default is inventory shrinkage account. If you have a different uh, account for uh, making this adjustment, like a uh, quantity lost, uh, uh, adjustment type separate account, uh, you know, you can use that or just stay with the inventory shrinkage account for uh, everything. Okay, so uh, uh, now all you have to do is come up with a new quantity. You know, if you're physical and you have a worksheet, spreadsheet someplace, uh, just change that to 75, let's 74. You lost one, and let's say this one. Uh, Interestingly enough, you have uh, more, let's say 11 here, all right? So you got one in here, okay? So you got an idea now. So what do you need to do? All right, let's say this one is uh, 38, one up, okay? So that's all you got to do. And then uh, all you have to do is just save it. And uh, uh, if you have uh, a negative one, you know, like, uh, I don't have a negative on this one, but uh, this is not the one. This is a discount one. I'm using it. Uh, so if you have negative one, uh, there may be a problem. Uh, it could be you haven't added purchases yet. You know, you haven't added purchases, so you want to make sure you have already recorded uh, all the purchases as of that time frame, uh, including for the uh, uh, you know the, with the positive change in here. So want to make sure uh, you know whatever you have uh, stock on hand. Uh, all, everything uh, recorded properly. Uh, so that's all you're going to do. And I'm just going to save this. So we'll give you warning sign in here. I don't have the class field. I have a class field in here. And say yes. 
that's done that's all you got to do it's pretty easy so this is how to make batch inventory stock adjustment in 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 QuickBooks Online. Well, thank you for watching this video. Uh, make sure to visit our website newqbo.com. Thank you again, and be sure to subscribe our YouTube uh, uh, channel. Uh, it's pretty popular, you know, uh, dealing with the inventory and uh, uh, various QuickBooks Online articles. All right, thank you again. Bye.